Anyways, let's get this show on the road, y'all, because we got a lot of shit to, com- to talk talk about, and you all motherfuckers left a lot of comments. All right, if somehow this ever pops up, and, and we get like a gazillion fucking, you know, uh, millions of fucking uh, uh, comments, we're only gonna read comments for forty five minutes. All right, because I'm gonna get tired. I'm not even good at reading and shit. Anyways, let's move on to the motherfucking social medias, comments and shit. Remember our social medias is Son of Man six six five at the X. Elon Musk, you know what that is all about. And uh, don't worry, Gomer. You know, by 2030, we're all going to be doing it. Don't worry. It's okay. Uh, on Instagram, it's at the under little line, uh, underground, under little line of broadcast. And on TikTok, we no longer upload to TikTok. You can go and there is a fucking TikTok channel. And there's a bunch of videos. But if you look, we usually have 400, 600 views on each video. And then all of a sudden, we get like one or two views because they shadow banned us. And because of that, we're protesting and we're never, never gonna upload to that fucking Chinese communist fucking uh, uh, platform again. Fuck you. That's the only thing I agree with Joe Biden. We need to get the fuck, get the fucking TikToks the fuck out of here back to their fucking country of China. You communist sons of bitches. How dare you censor me? Me, out of all people. This is the person that should be like not, not censored nowadays and allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. But not the Chinese, you fucking guys. Anyways, uh, whatever you're saying, me to your social medias, as long as you do it before the broadcast, don't fucking send me something five minutes before, an hour before, with technical difficulties, aka Super Saiyan Joku, and expect me to get it all ready and shit. Luckily, this motherfucker meows and purrs at me, and I love that shit. So I, I got it ready before I jumped in the shower. You, you know what? That's probably why I was late. And I had to do it all over you because Super Saiyan Joku's fault. They should blame it on him. <laughs> but anyways, he sent me this shit on uh, Instagram. And he says, hey, son of man, at the underground broadcast, this might look like shake, but it's ready to bake. Either way, I'm blazing all this to face Oh yeah, cheers, ma flowers. Hashtag live. Hashtag roll up. Hashtag light up. Hashtag smoke up. Hashtag marijuana. Hashtag Mary Jane. Hashtag smoke weed every day. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see what he got. He got some something from the Bud Barn. And uh, let me pause it there, motherfucker, because I got to read what that shit says. I'm already bad at all this. Green Mountain Grind Pineapple Haze. Hey, does it fucking taste or smell like pineapple? Tell me. Um, I don't know. Slowed, cured, a bunch of fucking shit. 14 grams. You got 14 grams for it looks like about $52. That's fucking badass. I think I got 14 grams for 75 and that's not from the store like you're your privileged ass I had to go over here from the brown motherfuckers down the street and I know that son of a bitch ripped me off but it's okay I got some weed motherfuckers that's all I really care about ah <sighs> I hate my state I don't know why they don't fucking woken the fuck up and legalize it Everyone would be happier, and there wouldn't be any of these fucking road rages incidents that we had. You know, what was it, a few days ago, there was a road rage, and two cars flipped over, and two toddlers flew out of the car. And there's video on the internet. You search it, Texas, and shit. Uh, I think it was near Houston or somewhere like that. I don't even know. It was down here in the highway and shit. Uh, But there was two toddlers in diapers, no clothes on, walking in the middle of a highway where cars were going 60 miles an hour. All the cars were fucking freaking out until one of them fucking finally pulled over because everybody was freaking out, swerving the fuck out of the way. And then finally somebody pulled over and fucking grabbed those kids. And there's two cars flipped over. The drivers are probably in there. I don't know, man. It was fucked up, man. Um, I gotta say, man, I'm really jealous because I would have loved if uh, the weed I bought, you know, would have been already cut like that and and ready to roll here i am with all these 
all these fucking nugs. There's another little jar I have over there. But I have all these nugs and, I, and my grinders always stop working after a few fucking uses. They fucking get stuck or they don't turn anymore. And then I'm there with my hands like a caveman trying to get it to look like this. So I can roll it up. God damn it. I'm gonna write to my congressmen and my state representatives. What the fuck is taking so long? The yuppies over there in California have it good. And they're not even good people. They're idiots. God damn it. But our good Americans over here in Texas, we need some of this shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm tired of breaking the law to feel good. Can I just go to the store to feel good? God damn it. Cheers, Super Saiyan Joe Koo. Thank you for that, motherfucker. I'm real jealous. Uh, let me know if it does uh, taste like, uh, like fucking uh, pineapple. I'm curious. I've never had any of this fancy shit. I get the shit from the, from the motherfuckers down here in the street, you know? I don't know what it is. It's just weed, that's all I say. Ah. Anyways, thank you for sending me that. Whatever you send me, I'll show here. But let's get started with the comments. And we're going to start on the comments video that I posted last Sunday from Deep Post. <laughs> Uh, cause I answered, oh, I read his comments and I answered whatever he asked me and he just put a laughing shit. Uh, uh, street team says you guys in Cali should definitely try orange crimsicle. Oh, this motherfuckers. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all motherfuckers are fucking privileged motherfuckers. Orange creamsicle. That sounds delicious. Fuck. Here I am with this fucking, I don't know what this is called. This is called fucking Pedro's wheat from down the street and shit. Probably came out of his dog's ass when he sn snuck it over across the border. And shit. Fuck you, Joe Biden. You know, if there was a wall, bullshit like that would have be coming across and it would have forced the state to make it legal. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If there was a wall, the weed would have come over and they would be forced to legalize it. So everyone would be happy. All right? Everything works out. To say. Ah. <laughs> Oh, talking about wrestling, y'all motherfuckers. I didn't see it. I, you know what? God damn it. I feel bad, Timmons. This was the first week I didn't watch Raw, and I actually forgot to watch Dynamite, AEW. And the reason why I forgot to, I, I didn't watch Raw because I was busy doing some shit. Uh, but I didn't watch fucking uh, AEW Dynamite because I forgot it was Wednesday. I thought I was Tuesday. And I realized because I'm an, uh, you know me. Uh, son of man or whatever, uh, but you know so that I can know where where I am because every day is the same except for Fridays I know Friday's a Friday uh, But every day is the same, but I use a calendar and I marked a calendar, you know, and I forgot to mark Tuesday off So when I woke up the next day I thought it was Tuesday and I went the whole day thinking it was Tuesday and the next day when I woke up And I'm like, ah, oh, it's Wednesday and I turn on the YouTube There's all these videos about what happened on 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 dynamite and I was all like Wait, they showed Dynamite on Tuesday? What happened? And then I realized that it wasn't Tuesday. I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? This is what the weed down the street does to you. We had to weed like Joku and motherfucking Street Team Tony from California have. I wouldn't be having those kinds of problems forgetting what fucking day I am. God damn it. Anyways. Let's keep going. There's a lot of comments. Oh, it's none other than no, ma'am. Let me hit it for this fucking uh, misogynist uh, fucking a woman abuser. Where are you? No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. And uh, this asshole says, Yo, Kanye. Oh, yeah, I'm the Kanye. It's new uh, habit. Whippets. He says, Kanye be on that hippie crack. No wonder he act like that. But your face is laughing. Cheers to the man. P.S. P.S. What does P.S. stand for? I never knew. Uh, pussy? Sex? Or something? I don't know. Anyways, P.S. Stay away from whippets. Hashtag. Live. I can honestly tell you I only did whippets one time. One time in my life. I was 18 years old. And I was rooming. Literally. We lived in bunk beds in the same room. Me and he who should not be named. Alright. I don't like telling this story because I hate that son of a bitch. Uh, but 
We went to the fucking the Planet K and we bought fucking two boxes of whippets uh, because our neighbor sold me a crack. That's what he called it. It wasn't actually crack. It was a little canister. And the canister, you know, opens up. It's kind of like this, but super big and long. And you twist it open and it opens up, you know, and it's hollow inside. And uh, you put the whippet canister in there. It's big enough to fit a whippet canister in there. And on this end, it had a little spike. So you would put it like this. And when you would tighten it, it pops open the whippet canister. And then you would put a balloon on one end like that. And when you would twist it open, all the air would go into the balloon. Fucking badass. My neighbor gave us that. And so I was like, all right. So we went and got two boxes of that. We spent all afternoon. <laughs> we went through those two boxes, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, I can honestly tell you, I have never in my life felt brain dead with any drug. Because I've done a lot of drugs, believe me. You don't end up looking like this by doing marijuana, okay? Uh, so, yeah, uh, I have never felt brain dead with, a lot, with any of the drugs I did un, un, until I did whippets. Holy shit. I felt dumb as fuck the next day. And, uh, and I never did it again. And, and, and he who should not be named never did it again either because he was fucking, he was all like, my head hurts. And I was like, yeah, my, my, I'm, I'm, I feel dumb. <laughs> I tell them I kind of feel dumb. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, thank you, Street Team Tony. I appreciate that. Uh, but unfortunately, YouTube is a bunch of motherfuckers. And uh, we get banned and copyright strikes. And we don't even have 600 subscribers because we don't even come out in people's feeds and shit. So it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. But no worries, no worries. You know, we don't, we don't quit. We don't raise quitters. There was a quitter who quit this channel, but we don't mention his name anymore. He who should not be named, you pussy. We're keeping this going. We're a broadcast. Cheers, y'all. And remember, it's always... Live. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see who else. Oh, Anthony Timmons and the Grace Randolph Strikes Again video. That was a really controversial video, by the way. He says... Grace Randolph couldn't find her own ass in the dark if she used both hands. Bitch is completely clueless. You're absolutely right, Timmons. She couldn't find an ass because she doesn't have one. She's got these big ass double D titties. Aw, yeah. <laughs> That's where everything went. Her fucking titties. She don't got no ass and she got no brain because she's a dumbass. Everything she says is a fucking dumbass because, you know, that's where all the fucking good stuff is. Oh, yeah. I got to tell you, man, I, she's hot. I ain't going to lie. Uh, but I'm more of an ass man myself. I ain't going to lie. And I like a big girl, you know, none of these bony chicks. I'm going to be honest with you. Another thing. She can't look prettier than I do in makeup. If not, she's out of there. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers, Anthony Timmons. Thank you for commenting, motherfucker. And remember... Live. <sighs> Brought to you in part by Buzzball Chillers. Made by women for men who dress like women. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. Anthony Timmons also says on the Zac Efron Almost Died video. Hey, Zach. Never dive into the shallow end of the pool. You're going to break something. It's called situational awareness. Dumbass. Uh, I don't know what situational awareness is. Yeah, man, you know, I, I, I thought about it a lot, you know, because I was giving him a hard time. And I really like the guy. He's really good looking. You know what I'm saying? You know, he is. He is a good looking man. Even with that fucked up new chin that he has. He looks like a fucking Chad. He's ripped as fuck and he's hot. Um, but, you know, I was thinking about it. and you know, There must have been some really, really hot ass bitches that he neglected, you know, like you said, to be aware of where he jumped off of. 
And I think I'll give him a break for that because he was in Ibiza. And I gotta tell you, a fucking, a two in Ibiza is a fucking 15 over here. I'm just saying, so it didn't matter. There could have been the ugliest girl in the whole fucking country right there. She's still super hot to him. And he got confused and he jumped off the four feet. So, you know what? At least he was trying to get some pussies, what I say. Yeah. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm light up for you. Don't drink so much water. I'm not taking a break anytime soon, motherfucker. Talking to my dog. He's over there drinking up like he's fucking hasn't drank in weeks. Anyways. Uh. Oh. Laura Cola. On the James Gunn's DC mess. That's an old video, too. Well, I mean, it might be. I don't know. We're always talking shit about James Gunn. You'll find out. I don't think we talk about him today. There he wasn't an ass for him. Anyways. They, because I don't know if this is a female or a man. Who knows nowadays. They say, then you're not a DC fan. Oh, I am. And that's why I'm angry every time I see this piece of shit in the ass he's making. Because if you weren't a fan, you wouldn't be pissed. You'd be like, this is awesome. Well, fuck you. They're ruining it. They never give Snyder a chance. That's all I'm saying. They never gave him a chance. He had a vision. None of the movies got made the way he wanted to. He was like the, the Kevin Feige they didn't have faith in over there. Then his daughter committed suicide and they say, fuck that guy. Fucking Warner Brothers is a piece of shit. That's why they lost all the, the fucking the, the fucking money they did. And Ezra Miller is a fucking a, a child abductor. And a criminal. Anyways. Cheers to you, Lauda. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> that was for you. Timmins on the Leonardo's Ibiza vacation. Everybody, everybody is... Is over there in Ibiza, you know, they were, they were having fun because uh, I don't know where it was. Maybe that's where the Olympics were. I don't know. It was over there in the same countries, I guess, in the same vicinity. So everybody was over there being a bunch of pussies. Anyways, Timon says, the jellyfish. Oh, yeah, because he got stung by a jellyfish. The jellyfish must have recognized him and he probably just wanted an autograph. Yeah, he just wanted to fucking suck on that ass. Got him right on the right cheek, too. Oh, yeah. If I was a jellyfish and I saw Leonardo DiCaprio in the water, I would go straight for his asshole, for sure. I bet you that's exactly what that fucking jellyfish was doing, but he missed. And that's why he only got the right cheek. He almost he almost had it. He almost had it. Would have been tasty, too. Oh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> All right, all right, let's see. Dan Harmon. Oh, my God. James Gunn is alleged PDF. Him and Dan Harmon, alleged. Dan Harmon, isn't that the guy who, who worked for that other crazy asshole, Rick and Morty? And shit. <laughs> yeah, some shit show that was. It started off good, and then, on, and then it became popular, and it turned all mainstream. I fucking hate it. Anyways. Jess Rivers and the Kanye's new habit says... Anyone can clearly see the sick man is on drugs. A sick, demented person such as this isn't born, but rather made through years of heavy narcotic use. Are you talking about Kanye or me? Son of a bitch. Hey, you know what, Jess Rivers? You fucking always leave comments like this that you're never specific whether you're talking about me or the motherfucker in the video. Son of a bitch. I like that. Cheers! This guy... This guy's a troll. I think it's a guy. Jess. Could be Jesse. Or Jessica. Oh! Either way, this motherfucker's a troll. And I respect motherfucker trolls around here. Cheers! No, Joku, fucking the cunt, says that he has the bell notification on and he says sometimes he doesn't get notifications. So believe me when I say YouTube doesn't like me because I'm brown and I dress like a woman. You fucking racist. They're the worst combination of racism you could ever do. You fucking dicks. 
But they hate on me. They hate on this channel. They hate on us. They don't respect us. They don't respect nothing that we do. Fuck you, Google. Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you. Give me a strike for that, pussies. In case you didn't know, we're one strike away from being deleted from YouTube. God damn it. The channel that has 600 subscribers is about to get deleted. God damn it. Do you need you have Melanie Mack over there doing all her hate speech? Fucking Logan Paul showing dead people in Japan and shit. And they fucking don't even get strikes. Fuck you, YouTube. Anyways. Uh, J Hart W. Oh, fuck. All right. I, I've had a long day. I don't, I don't even have this ready. But I'll click on it for the sake of you all. Uh, you won't be see the, you'll hear the audio. You might see a little bit of the video, but you'll hear the audio at least. Let's hear what this son of a bitch wants you to hear. Because he puts a bunch of, he puts son of man out of context. And he puts cheers, bro. I'm sorry, all right? I'm a one-man show. Usually I have this stuff ready. It's been a hell of a week, all right? The weather's been shitty. Anyways, let me click on this. Doesn't give a fuck. If you try to get one of them Munjabian names, you are not African, motherfucker. Just because your white fucking parents were fucking living over there when you they gave birth to you doesn't make you African, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's definitely me out of context. Uh, if you want to know what the fuck I meant, you need to go watch the video. <laughs> Cheers, J Hart W, you asshole. I'm sorry I don't have that ready. Usually I have the clip ready. Ugh. I think my bandana's on too tight. My brain is starting to hurt. Uh anyways, let me drink some more. That'll make it fucking numb. <sighs> Zach, oh no, D post. On the Zach Efron video. He puts Zach Efron was pushing his limits while Prepping for Baywatch 2? Oh! <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's funny, bro. Hey, you know what? Him being in Baywatch and all that shit, you'd think he would have known better diving off the shallow end of the pool. You dumbass. Some lifeguard you were. The Rock would be very disappointed in your fucking good-looking ass. You squared chin motherfucker. Cheers. To deep post. And cheers to Jack Efron. Fuck it, he's good looking. Gomer Kyle on the Cinnamon Isis full album that I put up. 2015, by the way. So, 2015, that was recorded and, 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 and released. I think I have one more album to put up, and then that's the end. Uh, one more next week. And then all my music's up there for y'all. Um... Uh, We'll talk about that. Somebody left some comments, so I'll, I'll talk more about it later. But anyways, Gomer says, You're the Mexican Seamus, always having banga at the banga. I don't. I can't do it like Seamus. Banga at the banga. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. Thank you, Gomer. I appreciate that, motherfucker. Uh, like I said, I, 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 I don't do music anymore. This is what I do. Uh, every once in a while, if I actually have free time, I'll sit here and I'll make a beat or two. Or I'll get my guitar and I'll, you know, uh, I was thinking that if I ever, you know, I'm am, am doing something cool or uh, worthwhile, I might just record myself working on stuff or whatever, and then I'll post it. Uh, not, not that I'm making a new album, but just so you can see what my, my process is like as how I do it or how I did it, basically. Uh, but yeah, there's one more album uh, left next week on Monday. You'll probably get it. I'll put it up and then uh, that'll be all 14 of my <laughs> of my albums. Uh, anyways, it's old music. I don't I don't even think I like. You know those. You know uh, I. You know I always found poetry, not poetry, but just like some. They taught us at school. You know, you keep a little book and you write shit down. You know, the motherfuckers called it a diary, and they called me, uh, you know, a baggot for it. Uh, but I didn't care. You know, I always wrote stuff down. If they're like, this son of a bitch pissed me off. 
fuck that guy. And I'm writing shit down, you know, you know whatever the fuck. And, uh, you know, some of these things were just feelings, you know, and shit like that. And, and I always try to make concepts and stuff. So when I did something like this one, you know, it, it, ISIS was more about fucking... Uh, Well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got to go and listen to them. You kind of get an idea. Uh, so things are paired and grouped together and, and, you know, I don't know. They're just thoughts and emotions from back in the day. That's all I can say. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know if I feel anything nowadays. I really don't. What am I going to fucking rap or sing about? James Gunn? Fuck that guy. Son of a bitch. Anyways, next comment. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life, the Satanist. Let me hit it for him. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco on the Craven is going to bring out Craven the Hunter. The movie is going to bring out all the weirdos. He puts a bunch of laughing faces and says, a great way to start the day. Laughing at your videos, son of man. Hashtag. <laughs> Live. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rocco. I'm glad. You know, that's why I posted at 7 in the morning these videos because I'm like, people wake up to go to work. Most people work at 8 or 9. You know, whatever the fuck. They, I don't think anybody goes in that early except for me. I'm, I'm awake at 5.30 a.m. every day. Uh, but anyways, it's my dog needs to piss and shoot. Uh, but, you know... You know, I, I figured I post the videos early, and that way people can, you know, watch it while they're brushing their teeth or eating or whatever the fuck, or maybe even driving, you know, whatever. Right before you go to work, here's my thoughts, my opinions for you. That's why I posted that early. Anthony Timmons and the Craven gets a R-rated R or whatever. He says, Craven was a good character. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. I'm not sure what to think about this shit. This doesn't sound like the Craven I grew up reading about. Crap. <sighs> We're going to talk about this tonight. Because if you all know this week, they actually premiered the trailer. It's kind of fucked up. Because the video I posted, it didn't come out till Thursday. So it was irrelevant because the trailer already came out. And I'm fucking stupid ass. Oh. Fuck you. We only do this show once a week. And the, short, the short videos during the week is just excerpts from the fucking... From the show we're doing tonight. Thank you, Timmons, for that little bit of insight. Yes, they're ruining Cravey, but I'm going to talk about it later on tonight. He also says, Steve Ditko is rolling over in his grave. This is going to be hot garbage. Well, it's not just Steve Ditko, but his whole estate and his children because they're pissed. They want the rights and the money for Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Uh, but Marvel took them to court, and I think they lost, which sucks. Because uh, a lot of these guys, and you know what? It's their fault. It's their fucking fault. Uh, I'm not playing. When you work in a company, I've signed a lot of these, and I'm sure you have too. Don't be idiots. They give you these big fucking pamphlets and shits to fucking sign. And most of the times, most of us just want to start working and want to get the job already. And so we just skip to where the thing and we sign everything. We sign everything. Boom, here's the, the fucking booklet. Man, I promise you, if you work for a big company, there is a section in there. Because I, at one time, I, I was bored. And I didn't think they were going to give me the job. Or I thought that maybe, like, I'm like, oh, they said I'm hired. But they haven't gotten the drug test results back. And I'm like, hey, how the fuck I'm hired? The minute they get those, they're going to fire me. And I'm like, man, fuck these guys. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to play with them or whatever. They're playing with me. I'm going to play with them. They think they're playing with me. I'm going to play with you, motherfuckers. I'm going to take long signing these papers. And I started reading it. <laughs> I didn't get the job, by the way, because the drug test did come back. But I felt they were fucking with me. Because how are you going to give somebody the job before the drug test comes? And you look like this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyways, I was like, yeah, they're fucking with me. They're wasting my time. I could be looking for another job right now, but they want to be dicks. I'm going to be dicks too. I'm going to take forever signing these papers. I read every page. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I read every page and one of those pages said that anything you create 
or if you make an invention or you come up with a system that you know something that the company it benefits that you don't own it or that idea that came from you you don't own it and it's the company's and you sign it you sign it. and i am telling you the way the comic book industry works is that you work for marvel comics your job and this is your actual job that you're actually getting paid for is to create new characters for us and stories so that you're already getting paid for it that you're getting paid shit for it is your fault and that's what people like todd mcfarlane and um uh, jim lee and uh what's the deadpool rob liefeld and a bunch of those motherfuckers realized that once they had professional jobs they realized that we're getting paid shit and we're the real geniuses and they left to start image comics and they started something that ended up nowhere because they were all a bunch of stoners who couldn't get the job done. That's why Image Comic failed. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. What did I do here? That's why Image Comic failed is because these dumb sons of bitches were lazy. And instead of releasing a comic book every month, like an issue every month, they would take several months before the next issue would come out and people would get mad and shit. And that's why it failed. Uh, idiots. But they had something going where they said, we're gonna make our own shit you know we're gonna keep all the money because we're the geniuses not you 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 need us to make spider-man good man every todd mcfarlane arc of spider-man was amazing we wouldn't have venom if it wasn't for todd mcfarlane <sighs> we wouldn't have deadpool if it wasn't for jim lee we wouldn't have dr strange we wouldn't have fucking, oh my god. You know, and then the one guy who didn't get no credit for none of this, a lot of this shit, is, uh, uh, oh my god. And he's the one that uh, they secretly say is the one above all in the comic books, the, the god of Marvel comic books, the one above all, is, um, god, I'm gonna fucking hate myself because I'm high and drunk. Somebody help me out. It's not Stan Lee. It's the other motherfucker. God, I'm gonna really hate myself. Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. I'm going to have to fucking Google this shit real quick. Oh, I, it's right at the top of my tongue and I can't even remember. Jack Kirby. God damn it. Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby is the real genius behind fucking all our heroes that we fucking, you know, uh, listen to and shit. Oh, Nighthawk. Oh my god, Nighthawk is so crazy and badass, bro. Um, Jack Kirby. Yeah. He is the one guy who gets no respect and no credit. Stan Lee wrote the stories. Stories. They're great stories. Origins and shit. But the actual designs and the characters all came from one man who to this day, I feel, gets no respect and no recognition. And that's Jack Kirby. And that's a damn shame, man. Because he, he's the one who said, this is the way he's going to look. And these are the powers he's going to have. And Stan Lee's job was to, to come up with a story for whatever this asshole was drawing. Um, it was a team effort. It was. It, you, you, it was. There were two halves of the whole. You know what I'm saying? Um... But that's why when Jack Kirby left because he wasn't getting the respect and Stan Lee was getting all the respect, he left, went to DC. You started seeing the parallels where I was like, well, Thanos, the dark side is just another Thanos. And this is just another this. And this is just because it's the same guy making the characters, but he's making a different one for the other company. You know, and a lot of people don't know that. And I think that's real super disrespectful of Kevin Feige, Marvel, and Disney that they don't even bother. They put Stan Lee's fucking pervert ass face on and, and CGI him on every fucking film, but they can't put not even Jack Kirby's name. I, wait, I'm, I'm lying. I think they do put Jack Kirby. Characters by Jack Kirby they put in white letters that nobody, nobody sits around to see any of that shit anymore um but yeah anyways i don't i went too long with this i'm sorry let's keep going because there's more comments god damn it anthony timmons also says steve ditko is rolling over and oh uh, that's the one i read already Steve ditko is rolling over his grave they fucked up spider-man the mcu spider-man design is based on ditko just in case you didn't know 
Kevin F uh, Timmons also says Kevin Fe Kevin Feige is going to star in his own Marvel movie one day. A new character called Captain Flaccid, the Human Ball Sack. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Oh. Uh, Jim Valentine. Oh, yeah, yeah. The New Gods and Ka what did you say, Anthony Timmons? Come on, commandi, commando. Wildcats was badass. Wildcats is fucking sick. There was another independent company that quickly tanked. It was called Chaos Chaos Comics. I don't know if you guys remember. Those were in the 90s. I have uh, Purgatory. <sighs> I have Purgatory comic books. And I there's my favorite. My favorite fucking comic books and character and it pissed me off that the com company went to shit because it didn't even last not, not even not even a year i don't even think like they, there wasn't even that many issues but man that comic book i don't know if you know what purgatory is but the comic book is about a female lesbian egyptian vampire goddess who was resurrected in modern days and she has sex with men, women, and she's fighting these Egyptian gods from the past. It's crazy. It's fucking badass. She's a vampire, and she's super sexy and, and, and sexy Egyptian god-like woman. You know, she having sex with women, and with her lesbian lovers. But then when she transforms, when she uses her powers, she turns all red, and grows horns and like a devil with wings. And she's a fucking vampire. It's so badass. Purgatory is sick. I loved it. There was also the Max. Uh, Pit. Evil Eddie, I think was one of them too. Pit. Pit, Pit was... Uh, Pit was so fucking sick. I have a few comic books. I have, actually, I have the one crossover Marvel Comics actually did that was good. Pit versus Hulk. Oh, that is one of the... Go buy it. You could probably find it on eBay. I don't think it's that expensive because people don't even know what Pit is. So I know it's not that. You'll probably find it for 20, 20, 30 bucks. But trust me, it's worth it. And it's super thick. It's just one issue. And it's Pit versus Hulk. Ah. The best comic book I own. And I own a lot of old comic books. I'm talking about even from the 60s. I've gone hunting and I have found old comic books. I have number one issues of shit. That I'm not even going to say. Because I don't want to get broken into in here. Uh, but. Pit vs. Hulk is fucking my favorite comic book that I have. It's good. The Last Battle on Earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like Vampirella. Oh, yeah, she's a little bit like Vampirella, but she's an, an Egyptian god or vampire. She's Egyptian, and she fights Egyptian gods. The story never finished, and you know, because it never they got canceled. It sucks ass. Sexy comic book, though. I love it. Timmons says Marcus Jordan on the Marcus Jordan's uh, gives into peer pressure video. Timmons says, has he be taking lessons from Billy Ray Cyrus? These guys never seem to learn. These young girls only see them as an ATM with legs. Timmons, you're not lying. When you're rich and famous, or at least a very fucking attractive big dick, Nepal baby, like this dumbass Marcus Jordan, of course women are going to use you. Just like they use any fucking man. You know, if you're smart like me, and you've never had money, the moment you have money, you use women. You make them pretend, yeah, we're gonna go to Ibiza tomorrow. Don't worry, bitch, come over, let's have sex and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 you get her high, you fuck the shit out of her, you get her really drunk, so she passes out, and then you fucking leave the fucking hotel room. You leave her with the bill, and she'll never see her again. Oh, yeah, you go, you take go to Ibiza, and you fuck some other bitches over there. Cheers! That's how you do it, motherfuckers. Don't be an idiot. All right, do it like that. Um, Gomer Kyle on the Cravens already R says the R means re tard. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll talk more about this later on tonight. I don't want to jump into the subjects right now, but it was my fault. I didn't know they were going to release a trailer that came out of nowhere. I thought Sony had given up. I thought they were going to say the movie was canceled after Deadpool. They're like, no way we're going to make money now. 
Now they're really trying hard. Put all the CGI blood. Uh, we'll get into it later on tonight. Sorry. Culture war. Oh, this is uh, canceled for life. The motherfuckers, y'all, your stupid at names piss me off. Uh, let me hit it for canceled. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever tried to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black guy, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. <laughs> R.I.P. Bernie Mac, we miss you. You were one of the best. You're a legend. I swear, you were one of my favorite black comedians, Bernie Mac. I love you. Fuck you, Ashton Kutcher. You racist. Canceled for Live says, The trailer looked dope, but it's Sony. And we all know the kind of trash they always put out. As Sun would say, Sony, you idiots. Cheers. Hashtag live. Thank you, uh, Cancel for Life. I would say that, and I'm gonna say that a lot tonight when we get to that subject, when we get to talking about that ass of a trailer. Um, oh, there's a conversation these motherfuckers were having. I'm gonna read your conversations, all right? I'm only reading the first comment, y'all sons of bitches. Anyways, on the Nelly can't afford car insurance. Doug Unfun, hey, let me hit it for this smart son of a bitch. Woke as fuck. This guy is woke as fuck. He says, son of man doing all the hits from the early 2000s. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Motherfucker, I can do hits. From the 90s, from the 80s, from the 70s and 60s. Once we start getting to the 50s and 40s, it's very, very few, very few from here and there sprinkled, you know. Uh, I might even not even know who's singing it, but I know the songs, you know. But yes, I am a jukebox. I think a little bit after the 2000s, I started getting really selective because even the pop music started sounding really lame and generic. And very like... Like there was no soul in it. God damn it. Britney Spears' soul was in her soulless music. You know, that's why it was a sexy voice and shit. Oh baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? That something wasn't wrong. That was all her energy and soul in it. You know, a lot of these new artists after the 2000s were just like soulless fucking. I'm just here because I'm a fucking record plant. Uh, that's why I'm very selective after the 2000s. I'm very selective. But uh, every, a lot of the music on the radio, everything before the 2000s, I, it's all in me. Man. I was all in me, all right? I'm the best at karaoke. I get laid every night, every time I go to karaoke. Oh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> All right, all right. Let's keep going. Anthony Timmons on the Nelly can't afford car insurance. He says, you know, it's getting bad when even rich people can afford shit like car insurance. Sorry, Nell, but you're so stupid. Well, I mean, look, it is getting bad even for celebrities. All right. The economy is so bad, and you all notice, if you've been keeping up the way with this channel especially, a lot of motherfuckers have been selling their houses over there in California and moving to Texas because the, the, the property taxes are still cheaper here in Texas. I still think it's ass that you gotta pray, pay a tax on something you own that you paid for already. You spent 20 years giving payments to the bank to own your house. And then after those 20 years, you gotta pay the government a tax. And it ain't cheap, motherfuckers. It's thousands of dollars. You know? So if you're like one of these 
poor motherfuckers that for whatever strange reason finally spends 20, 30 years buying a fucking house so you can feel special for yourself, then you're fucked because you're still going to pay a thousands of dollars of taxes just for having your little square of land that you already paid for. It's fucking bullshit. So it is hard for everyone. Cardi B has even said, because Cardi B, Cardi B is a dumbass and she's from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? She's like one of us, you know? Uh, she's not educated. So she's very lucky that the, the, the people in the record company said, look, she's really stupid and her music is fucking dumb. If we make her famous, she will make everyone else dumb and stupid. And they'll vote for Kamala and Biden. So they made her famous. And so far, it's been working. Uh, she really good, though. I fucking love her shit. Aw, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, she even went on Instagram or Twitters or her shit, and she's been saying because she takes care of all her families. Her cousins, her aunts, her uncles, her grandma, her mom, her sisters, everybody. Because none of them had jobs. And she's the first person in the family who got a job. Just like the, you know, people, the first person to go to college has to take care of everybody. She's the first one to have a job. So she had to take care of her whole family. She's saying, God damn it, Mr. Biden. She's complaining. Mr. Biden, I voted for you. What's going on? It's costing me a lot of money to feed, to buy groceries and pay their rents and shit. I'm supposed to be rich and famous. What the fuck? So even even celebrities are hurting Timmons, right? You gotta show some sympathy, you fucking guy. That's all I'm trying to say. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting. <sighs> Biden and the Democrats only won one thing. To keep everyone poor. That's how they stay rich. The way they stay rich is to make America like Mexico. I, for 18, 17 years of my life, I lived in a town that was literally one little walk across a bridge to Mexico. And believe me, the town I lived in might as well have been little Mexico, with some people speaking English. It was basically Mexico, with nicer things, because it's America. But it was Mexico, bros. It was. And I'm fucking not lying uh, when I say this. Uh, we all suffer. We all go through the same shits as everyone else in this country. All right. And people are not stupid. And they can see that these idiots, these idiots have somehow, one way or another, ruined the country the past four years. Everyone's suffering. Everyone's struggling. These motherfuckers. Uh, something has to change. And it's going to change. People aren't stupid. I don't know where I was going with this. I'm really high and drunk. We're going to keep going on because it's not a political channel. All right? This is not what this is about. Fuck politicians. Oh, shit. Is this the last comment? Let me check. It is the last comment, and it's not another than Houston, Texas, very own Jose Trevino. Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Trevino, you son of a bitch. And one of these days, Trevino, we gotta get together. I think you and me are the closest. Everyone else is in other states or countries. Uh, hey, by the way, Street Team Tony, uh, if you're in another country other than America, let us know. But if you're in America, at least tell us what state you're in. Uh, I, I, you know, so, we, so we can relate somehow. I think you said you were in California. I've, correct me if I'm wrong. But Trevino, you're right here. Right down the block pretty much, motherfucker. We gotta get together, smoke out, or pick up some bitches and shit. You want know, some men? If that's what you're into, I don't have a problem with that. I'll pick up some men with you, motherfucker. I'll be the wingman. Oh, yeah. Anyways, Trevino says on the underground broadcast number 26... What up, son? 
Oh, wait. He, he left a long comment. Let me open it up right now. He says, What up, son? Damn, you're a triple threat. I know you say you don't have motivation, but a mega rapper. Oh, man, I appreciate that. I was really, I mean, that's, that's, that was my dream. I want to be, I want to be, a, I want to be an artist, you know? I was even trying to, I have songs recorded, but I never put it out. Because I said, I'm going to do rap, but I'm going to do one fucking rock alternative album. And I have some songs that I never put out. And it's not rap. Uh, but I wanted to be an artist, you know, a musician and shit. But an artist means a lot of things nowadays. Uh, so I appreciate that that you're you're giving me props. Thanks, thanks, bro. I put a lot of work into it. Fourteen fucking albums. Come on, bro. <laughs> I know people that were that got famous, and they didn't even make that many mixtapes, you know. But anyways, it is what it is. We all. We got to roll with the with the cards that we're dealt. Fuck it. No looking back. Uh, he says, This election year is perfect to get that cash, you idiot. But really, it would be cool if you did one MAGA song. <laughs> Question, do you make your own beats? And what's up with Andrew Sanchez intro? LOL. Anyways, cheers. Whoa. Live. Hashtag World Order. <laughs> I'm the only one I do that for, motherfucker. Um, a MAGA song. I just, uh, it's all a joke to me, bro. I just don't. I did, a, I did a whole political. It's already up there. Obama Nation. Obama Nation. Uh, that album is all political. And uh, I, that's all. That's all I did. Uh, and every there's in every album there's like one or two or three. There's one song at least in every album where I might touch on the subject. Uh, but it's not something that I'm all like, especially nowadays. I don't know. Just everything's everything's so. We're all being duped. Is all I'm gonna say. Doesn't get. Doesn't matter who you vote for. We're all fucked in the end, brothers. This is this is something that's just playing out before our eyes that we have no control over. So I suggest for most of you, if you plan to vote, go vote and then get it out of your head and, and live your life, bro. Who cares what happens after you vote? Live your life. Because the people that care, they're the ones that are going to fuck everything up for the rest of us. Just you wait. Just you wait. Those people that care about who they're voting for, they really, really care. They're the ones that are going to make trouble for the rest of us that just want to live our lives. You can take that uh, any way you want. So now I don't want to do a MAGA song. Whatever. Uh, he says, do you make your own beats? And what's up with Andrew Sanch? Uh, yeah, I make my songs and shit. I mean, they, they, there's, if, if you actually, you can listen to it. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. But if you actually go and go to the link to, you want to download them and have them because it's up there for free, but whatever. If you go to that link, when you download them, you get the cover art. And I think on the back side of the CD, I used to actually print these out. I never sold any. I always thought it was stupid. That motherfuckers, you're eating a Chick-fil-A. Some motherfuckers, because I'm to you. Hey, sir, you want to buy my album? Hey, who the fuck are you? Do I even know what this sounds like? Get the fuck out of here. So I didn't understand why people did that. And I was never going to go do that. So I would actually give my CD away for free. Hey, do you like music? Do you like rap? Hey, here's my CD, man. Check it out. It's free. That's what I would do. And I don't understand why you, you're trying to fucking... You want people to listen to your music. Why are you trying to sell it, you idiot? You can sell it after you're famous. Uh, but anyways, maybe that's why it didn't work out for me. Because I was I was not being greedy, I guess. I wasn't greedy enough. Uh, but I would get my albums for free, so I would print that shit out and give it out for free and shit. Uh, it didn't... Like I said, whatever. It was another time.
People weren't ready for the Son of Man. People are still not ready for the Son of Man. What up? What's up with Andrew Sanchez's intro? I'm gonna play. I'm sure. I wonder if Andrew Sanchez will show up tonight. But I'm gonna play his fucking intro just so that you can hear it and you can understand why he's so confused about it. Here's Andrew Sanchez's fucking intro. We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. <laughs> I try to tailor these intros to you all. That's why sometimes I ask you where you're from, what you'd like, and you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I don't always read because I'm I'm doing a show. In the comments, I read more. Right now, when we're doing the comments, I'm reading more what you all are typing. But I don't always read when I'm doing the show in a little bit because I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right? I'm entertaining y'all. Um, but I go back and I watch the video. And sometimes I see what you guys are talking about and I get ideas and then, you know, I, I try to come up and, and tailor these intros for you. Uh, Andrew Sanchez, if you don't know, this guy's from the Philippines. He's a half Mexican, half Filipino, and he lives in the Philippines. And whenever he wants, if he shows up tonight, it's actually the morning over there. It's Saturday morning. If you're in America, it's Friday night. But over there, it's Saturday morning. Him and the cunt. Uh, Bradley Lewis is also from Australia. Um, but yeah, so there's when he shows up, he's from the Philippines. And when I said I was going to make him an intro, jokingly, I told him on here, I'm going to find the most racist shit I can find and make it into your intro. And he said, do it. So I put on YouTube the ra most racist fucking uh, uh, Filipino joke. And it was actually from a TV show on the Britain TV. And that's what that lady sa said. We don't test fucking our makeup on animals. We use Filipino children. Uh, and that was really controversial. And I think they got canceled for saying that. Uh, but I, I cropped that. And then I found a video of some little kid, in fi some Filipino kid, Cursing at the camera, angry. I don't know what he was saying. I know fucking two languages. I'm not a genius, but because I know two languages, I'm able to understand maximum four. I am. Because there's two other languages that are very similar, and even though I wouldn't be able to speak their language, I would at least understand what they're saying to me. And I would be able to say one or two words, and they might say, okay, he needs to go to the bathroom this way but everything else it would be nonsense because they wouldn't understand what i'm saying and neither would i but it's you know they some words are sound the same and what i told them when i made this is i don't know what that kid was saying but it sounded to me like he was saying your mother is a whore <laughs> and andrew sanchez is like there is a phrase in there where he does say that he says a bunch of stuff about somebody's mother but he basically is saying your mother's a whore and I uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why, uh, that's what's up with Andrew Sanchez's fucking intro. Uh, it's just something I did, and he loved it. He loves it. Uh, I tried to, we tried to tailor. Back in the day, he who should not be named was in charge of some of y'all's intros at the beginning. He started getting lazy, so I took over. <sighs> I don't want to get into that. Anyways, we're done. With the goddamn comments, finally, one hour and five, six minutes into the goddamn show. This is what I'm saying, man. If this ever happens to us, ever happens for us, we're only reading comments for 45 minutes. And after those 45 minutes, all the other comments, you're fucked. That's the way I'm going to be from now on if, if this gets popping. Uh, it's been four years, so I doubt it's ever going to pop. But anyways... Uh, thank you all for commenting again on social medias. Whatever you send me, I will show and post as long as it's not your credentials. Gober, that one time you're sending me your ID, you dumbass. <laughs> and uh, as long as it's not your credentials or porn, uh, I'll show whatever you send me. Send me a fucking a picture of your, your, your pet or whatever. Or something you bought. I don't care. I'll show it here. 
Joku sends me all of his drugs that he legally, legally buys down the corner store on his state. That's so badass, motherfucker. So I always show that shit. Uh, but before we leave, I do. Uh, we do have your weekly redneck advice, life advice from none other than our very own Gomer Kyle. Gomer Kyle, take it away. Hey everybody, welcome back to Gomer's Redneck Advice of the Week. This week's advice is simple. Like most weeks, just don't stick your dick crazy. If you stick your dick crazy, you got to put that bitch for the rest of your life if you get her pregnant. Don't go down to Anita's trailer just because she ain't got nothing on and stick your dick in that crazy bitch. Anyways, that's the advice this week. And if you have any advice you want to know, ask in the comments. I'll read them and I'll answer your questions that next Friday. Anyways, everybody, cheers. Hashtag woke pack for life. Hashtag woke son for life. Hey, Comer, the, the first time I'm actually going to fucking intervene here and say, I don't agree with your life advice because if Juanita down the street has a really big ass, I don't give a fuck if she's crazy. You're going to have to get stick your dick in it for sure, especially if she wants you to do it. I think the advice should have been, don't date or marry crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you want to fuck with crazy, that's okay. You know, as long as you don't make it exclusive, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, you know, it's just, an ass is an ass. You know what they say? Oh, yeah. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for his redneck advice. <laughs> You gotta send me a picture, Gomer. Send me a picture. Ah, yeah, you motherfuckers. Hey, do you like this kind of content? How about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link to the right or check the description.